you're going this way. Uh, we are researching an Egyptian mummy that we believe dates to the mid New Kingdom, so say around 1200 BC, and mm -hmm. it, this mummy so has never been researched in any way before, except on the outside. And this is the first time we're getting a look inside the mummy bundle. I've always been interested in finding a way to have our mummies examined and looked at. They are an untapped amount of information that will teach us a lot about how the ancient people lived. The Stanford University Department of Radiology has the unique opportunity that we have a research scanner here um, funded by an NIH shared instrument grant. So we can use the system for usually preclinical research, but now today we, we use it to actually scan uh, the mummy. We are seeing things that are very relevant right now. The brain was not removed from this individual, but in introduced inside the brain case is sediment, some form of material yeah. added into the brain case while the brain was left inside. We've not seen that particular pattern before, so that's new information. We have four human mummies in the collection, and we've already had one of them scanned here at Stanford, and that resulted in a major project with a lovely exhibition. And with the second scan, we're able to show two different periods, and uh, the two mummies will lie side by side in a new exhibition that we'll be planning to open in May. Mummies of this period are not very plentiful, so each time we have a, an incremental change in the technology which allows us to understand better what's going on with mummies of this remote period, we learn much more and are able to say much more than in the past.